Uh, welcome. We have got Jagjit Kalra with us, and he has recently been placed as a data analyst. So we will understand that what kind of questions were asked, or what what is the background that he is coming from. So Jagjit, if you can tell uh, quickly that in which company you are working, what position, and how did you find that job? So I am currently working in Stand My Business. It's a B two B startup for IT IT services. So as a Stand My Business, we take services work from the vendor and provide it to end customer so my task here is to maintain end to end end to end reporting of how many leads we are generating how many deals we are generating how much funnel we are creating on a daily basis to report all the data on the analytics of the, of the company itself so i start my day analyzing the marketing data how many leads we are generating how to you know, shuffle that leads to the supply team and to delivery team and i end my day specifically Trying to get up how much GMV and how much collections we collected, collected in the month or in a day, and and on a weekly basis we do analysis how much G, how much we have generated, what there are different avenues we need to work upon. So I participate in different 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 type of meeting, meet different people, meet different people. Sometimes work with SC, CEO of the company, in different different departments. So majorly I interact with most of the department departments in the company and try to understand what problem they are facing. Related to the data or the processes, and using the information which the company has, you have to optimize yourself and give some solutions or you know provide some solution basically related to data redundancy. Like before, before I joined, there was no analytics team. So when I joined this firm, I think three to four more people joined with me. Two of us were junior and two of us were senior. So we segmented the data, cleaned initially cleaned the data. So in our organization, we use Zoho CRM. For connect for connection. So first, we initially created our system for that. We clean the whole whole curriculum for that, and now the data is you know step has some 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 kind of significance, and it is established and visible to every department for itself. So the system and the flow has improved, and the efficiency of the company has improved. So that's how our work is at a data analyst. all right so i understood about the lead generation and all so what kind of uh, tools and uh, technology that you are using right now for all your analysis and day to day work so the data is dot not that much so on on, on daily basis i use sql and excel and sometimes they require me to do visualizations on power bi and tableau so mainly is sql excel and power bi or tableau right yeah yes and i would also like to ask that uh, if a learner for example he or she is a fresher right and they want to upskill themselves so what are the best or the most recent technologies or tools that they should upskill themselves in I what do you start, think i think as per the analytics domain we start with sql start SQL. with sql yeah because as per analytics so it's not a tech job or not no it's a non tech job correct it's a field you have to be you know have some knowledge of both the departments So start with X, SQL, SQL, go with Excel, and have have a visualization tool in hand. And mm-hmm. as you as you go in jobs, you can learn Python and other skill as well. So I think the two skills are SQL and Excel. You keep in mind, and this is what I keep in mind. And when I joined okay. the mm-hmm. programming first skill, I learned one learn was Excel. Then I jumped to SQL. Then I jumped to Python. Okay. So mandatory skills will be Excel, SQL, and a visualization tool like Power BI. And then, if you want to upgrade yourself, that will be Python, NumPy, Pandas, whatever you want to learn, right? It depends on what your company wants or what organization wants. Right. Correct. So here, so, but yeah, I have also seen most of the companies requiring for Excel and SQL for sure. That is a mandatory skill which I have seen with other learners as well. So, anyways, I also want this job. So, uh, where did you apply, or what kind of reference you got for this job, or how many jobs have you applied before this? So I was continuously applying for two months. So okay. I applied more than hundred and hundred hundred and ten jobs. I got selected in five to six for interview, and from that I got two three offers. Out of the three, I took this one. So this is a interesting uh, learning that we have to take that you applied for more than hundred jobs for which you got shortlisted for six, and then you got selected in a couple of them. Yes. So usually we apply in like twenty thirty, and we then we complain that we are not getting calls. But the uh, main, you know, the right way is just the way you did. We have to spam our resume in the market, increase our chances as much as we can by applying in more and more jobs, right? 
what I've understood from from that is that you know when you start applying, so it takes around a month and a half minimum to get recognized in the market or get a few you know, responses in the market. You know, as well as you start applying, you see some kind of trend. So how people are seeing your resume? What are the type of responses you're getting? So you upgrade yourself on a on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. Improve your skills, mm-hmm. improve your resume, you know, improve your interview practices. All right. So you have you are a fresher right now, right? You have applied yes. as a fresher. Yes, yes. Right out of your college. Yes. All right. All right, Jagjit. I think all your uh, information will help the learners and motivate them as well. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your insights with us, right?